Tony Ferguson gives his breakdown on Habib versus Poirier and how he feels about fighting McGregor. Uh, first question with Dustin and Khabib. I see Dustin, he plays a lot against the ropes. I mean, he does a lot of boxing. He's got some good hands, but uh, the kid needs to get his back off the ropes. At my academy, I don't have, I have a full 20 by 20 canvas, but I don't have any ropes around it. And I do that for a reason, so I don't get on my back on the ropes. Once you get your back against the cage and you start doing that, Khabib's gonna put that pressure. He's gonna take you down, double leg you. He's gonna mount you like that dummy. And he's gonna play smash and grab. I mean, that's how I see that playing out. If I were to fight Khabib, guarantee to you, I would throw him from his feet to his back and beat him like a sambo, like a five point move in wrestling. That's my background. So as far as even McNuggets goes, I would love to stand toe to toe go with that dude. He, I respect him as an athlete, as a person, he's kind of a douche. But I mean, it's improper 13, man. Literally it is. And uh, I got an attitude and I, I have a different agency right now, which is great. There's no conflict of interest. Dana White reacts to the stoppage and late punch controversy in Ferguson versus Soroni. He was also blown away by Sohuda's performance. Nah, listen, it's unfortunate because he, he did hit him after the bell, and it sucks when that happens. Um, you know, the ref should have jumped in there and made sure that that didn't happen. And um, Tony Ferguson looked great tonight. You know, he fought a great fight against a very motivated, um, prepared Cowboy Cerrone. So he deserves all the credit for the fight. It just sucks that, you know, that thing's flapping out in the wind for him. So it happens sometimes, though. What are you going to do? The way that he fought Marlon Marais, I didn't even know he had it in him, by the way. You know, I get, he bull rushed TJ, and he caught TJ with a shot, and he knocked him out. It happens. But when he got literally his ass whooped in that first round and his legs completely busted up, he went back to the corner and came out the second round with a completely different game plan that I didn't even know he was capable of. And it played out right there in front of all of us. That guy can fight at both weights. 100%. I'm not doubting him again. Henry confirms he did indeed injure his ankle during fight week which caused the speculation and rumors to appear. 